Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Is 30 minutes of trumpet practice per day enough to sound great on the trumpet? It's a simple question and it's one that I get asked a lot and today I'm going to answer that for you. Welcome to 2021. It's a new year and this year I've decided that it's probably good if I add a few little blog vlog kind of things to kind of give a bit of a background story about what we're trying to achieve here. Now, one thing that I'm a strong advocate of is being able to play trumpet, play good trumpet and sound really, really good in just 30 minutes of practice per day. Now, I get a lot of criticism about stating this and I get a lot of feedback. So I get feedback both positive and negative on this statement. But I really, I believe that you can play great trumpet in 30 minutes a day. Now, just the other day, and I get a lot of emails, I get a lot of emails, but the other day I got an email that I'm going to respond to. I'll read it out to you in a minute. I'm going to keep this person anonymous, Um, but they will know who they are. Um, and I just want to respond to uh, to their email uh, through this little video, right? My first, essentially, vlog video. Now, <clears throat> I get a lot of these emails, but the reason why I'm going to read this one is it's actually it's actually very well written. They're trying to be very respectful. They appreciate the things that I do offer, but they still feel that 30 minutes a day is not long enough for musicians. So it's a very well written email. It's uh, it's well intended, so there's no malice involved. It's just, you know, it's very well written, which is why I'm reading this one out um, as opposed to many of the other videos that I will get, oh, sorry, many of the other emails that I will get about this topic. So, and <clears throat> so it just goes like this. I'll just read it out to you. First of all, Happy New Year. Secondly, I think your YouTube videos are fab and I have learned so much in terms of trumpet playing being a trombonist. The only thing I disagree with you on is when you say you don't have to practice a lot. I agree wholeheartedly that practicing the wrong things and the wrong way can slow development, but to say you don't have to practice a lot can be grossly misleading. If your kids could practice 30 minutes a day, Progress would be massive, but once you get towards the high grades, diplomas, and wishing to be a professional musician, I know for a fact at least two hours a day is the norm. I am aware of your claim to have won an international competition on 30 minutes per day, but I would guess that you were already of a high standard. I very much doubt you got from beginner to winning an international competition on 30 minutes per day. May I wish you the very best for 2021 and keep the videos going, but please don't give young people false hopes by promising they can be fantastic by practicing for a short period of time. Short bursts of time, yes, and practicing the correct way, yes, but you and I know to be great, one has to put in the time. So, as you can see, as you can hear there, it's a very well written email and the good intentions have come through. So first of all, the person who wrote this email, I want to thank you for sending this email because unlike the other guys who send me the same sort of criticism, they get a bit abusive. There's a few four letter words in there, so I don't want to get onto them and I don't want to give them the time of day. So I just delete those emails. But this person has respectfully written this and has genuinely come forward with a genuine concern that they have that they are facing with their students who may be listening to this advice. Now, one thing I want to agree with this person on is if you want to be a professional musician, right? Let, oh, sorry. Let me go back. If you want to be a professional musician, you need to look at the workload of a professional musician. For starters, this person's right. 30 minutes a day for a professional musician is not enough, right? I average between an hour and a half and two hours a day as a professional musician. Now, that's my practice time. That's not my rehearsals. That's not my performances. That is what I do on top of everything that I do, including my teaching if I play with my students, which I do quite a lot. 
So, if you are a professional musician, this person is right. 30 minutes is not enough time to practice and achieve everything you need to. But let's look at why 30 minutes isn't enough, right? As a professional musician, we need to gig between three and five times a week minimum for us to be able to cover expenses, right? That's for us to be able to make enough of a living that we can survive, pay our rent, pay our mortgage, pay our food, look after our family, maybe have a hobby, right? That's so that we can live, right? Three to five gigs minimum every single week. Now, if you think about that, you break that down. So a gig can be an hour. It can be three hours. So if we have three to five gigs a week, we need to learn between three and 15 hours of music every single week to cover those gigs. That's not possible in 30 minutes a day, right? Now, if you compare that to a hobby musician or the majority of people who watch this channel who gig once a month, maybe five times a month at most, that's very, very different. You don't need to learn anywhere near as much music as a hobby musician versus a professional musician. So yes, if you want to be a professional musician, 30 minutes a day is not enough. However, if you're a professional musician or you are striving to be a professional musician, <clears throat> let me think of a nice way to say this. If you're striving to be a professional musician, watching YouTube videos for your advice on how to play and how to become a professional musician is not the right place for you to do it. You should be getting weekly lessons with a professional performing teacher. That is what, that's just the truth, right? You, if you're trying to be a professional musician and you're watching YouTube videos to get there, you're in the wrong place, right? Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of trumpet players who are on YouTube who are offering fantastic advice for how to help your playing. But we're not here to help people become professional players. We're here to help hobby players or people who play for enjoyment, for the love of what they're doing, who, people who have a full-time job, people who have a family, people who have children, people who have hobby, other hobbies, people who just want to improve their playing but don't want to get weekly lessons because they're working full-time. They just want to play as good as they can with the 30 minutes, one hour of practice that they have most days of the week. That's why people come to these sorts of platforms like YouTube. They come here seeking the advice from professionals like myself on how they can improve their playing but they don't have time to commit six hours, seven hours, five hours, even two hours a day. It's an unrealistic commitment for the majority of people who are on YouTube. So basically what I'm saying is this person is right if you are wanting to be a professional musician. Yes, if you want to be a professional musician, 30 minutes a day is not enough, right? That I have been through a period in my life where I was practicing five to seven hours per day. And I was doing that much playing, right? So I would do a good four hours of practice and a good two hour rehearsal minimum every single day. And that was the case. That was what I was doing. And I did that for a period because I was figuring stuff out. But you also know what I was doing wrong. I didn't know how to practice properly. I was practicing the wrong things. I was always playing as loud as I can, as high as I can, trying to do this and that and something else. And it didn't work out well for me because I didn't have the right advice because I wasn't seeking teaching from good teachers, right? It was also because I was stuck in the middle of nowhere and there was no teachers around at that time. But when I sorted out myself and managed to realize that I was doing things wrong, I traveled, I traveled for you know, five hours in the car to go and get lessons um, occasionally from great players to help me figure out what I was doing wrong so that I could get to the level that I wanted to be at um, as a professional player. Now, if you, you can skip all of that pain and all that suffering that I went through and all those damages to my chops that I did by going and seeking weekly 
in person, right? Lessons with a professional player. Now you can get lessons online, but it's not as beneficial. I teach lessons online and they are beneficial for people who are my audience, you guys here on YouTube who are seeking me to help with your hobby so that you can play in the local band and improve. So that you can, you might not want to play third trumpet in the community band forever. You might want to get on the first trumpet. You might want to play second trumpet. Or you might be on first trumpet feeling a little bit out of your depth. So you're coming to me looking for help on how you can do a better job of that without sacrificing your work or family. Or sorry, it should be your family life or your work, right? In that order. So that is, that is the whole point of this YouTube channel, to help guys who are doing this for a hobby and want to play and improve their skills, but you have other side, like you have other things, that, other commitments that are more important than you playing the trumpet. Now, in saying that, right, there are two ways that you can improve your playing with 30 minutes, right? Now, I am talking to the enthusiast player, right? And there are plenty of you guys out there. In fact, the majority of trumpet players in the world are playing because you love playing, not because you you want to generate income from it. There's a very big difference, right? That doesn't mean you don't sound like a professional player. Now, when I when I was growing up, I used to play a lot in British style brass bands. Now, when my cornet teacher was a young kid, he was one of the greatest players in the country. And for gener like for a whole you know, 20 years, this guy was almost unstoppable. No one came close to him, right? He played in all of the solo competitions and sounded phenomenal all the time. He wasn't a professional musician. He still isn't a professional musician. I hope he's retired now. I haven't spoken to him in a long time, but he'd be about 70 now. And he played fantastic all the time. And every time he performed, it sounded like a professional player because he'd polished his performances to a professional standard. He did it on 30 minutes a day. I play in brass bands today from time to time with hobby players. One of the guys is a lawyer and plays cornet so good that he could play as a professional player if he wanted to. Another guy works in statistics and plays euphonium way above standard that I would expect from most people. In fact, he plays better euphonium than half the professional euphonium players in the country, right? And he does it in 30 minutes a day. It's about being efficient with your practice time, knowing how to practice, setting yourself goals and achieving the goals in the time that you have. Now, I know that this is directed at people who want to do this as a hobby and people who want to do it as well as you can as a hobby. I know that there is a different level and a different expectation as a professional. And it's only because as a professional, you need to learn a lot more music in a lot smaller amount of time. That is the difference between being a hobby player and being a professional player. A hobby player plays between once and five times a, a month a professional player plays between three and five times, sometimes as high as 10 to 12 times in a week. So there's a lot of music that professional players need to learn in a short space of time. And that is why I keep continuously sell the fact that you can play great sounding trumpet in 30 minutes a day because I'm directing it at people who are learning their music over the course of a month rather than having to learn it in the course of a few days. Sometimes we have to sight read gigs quite regularly as well. So we need to make sure our sight reading is really good as professionals as well. So if you are like my audience, which is the majority of you, right? The majority of you guys are hobby players. You have two ways that you can improve your playing in 30 minutes per day. The first one is a free download where you download how I structure my practice. Now, I did do this myself. I have been through a period where my life, my family needed me more than my trumpet needed me. So I did practice for 30 minutes a day. 
And that lasted for about three to six months. And I was able to achieve all of my gigs that I needed to and perform at a very, very high standard. I won an international solo competition on it. And as was mentioned in this email, yes, I was already a professional player and had been for a number of years before I had, before I had to drop down to the 30 minutes a day. But I still improved my playing in that 30 minutes. And that was the key. Right? I still improved my playing in 30 minutes a day. Did it give me the optimal results and did it help me feel great about my playing? Not as good as what I would have if I was doing two hours a day, but that's also because I've learned how to practice properly in the 30 minutes. All right, so there are two ways that I can help you to improve your playing in 30 minutes, right? The first one's free. It's a free guide where I have shown you how to break down your practice and show you how to structure it so that you get all of your goals achieved and you learn new music and it's set, right, it's free guide, free guide. Just download it. I'll leave a link in the description. You can download it. It shows you what you need to practice, what sort of orders, that sort of thing, and how you can achieve the results that you desire in 30 minutes. The second way is you can take video lessons with me, right? I have a membership site where people get video lessons and a structure on how to practice. I give you the exercises. I give you video lessons on how to put the exercise together. I show you how to structure them all together, right? I've even got some repertoire where I can teach you how to play some music as well. And it's constantly evolving and it's constantly growing as well. So if you feel like you're ready to take the next step where you get essentially one-on-one -on -one teachings, through me and you get the best stuff possible. So I structure everything for you. It's pretty foolproof, right? You just follow the follow the strate the strategical plan with the video lessons and you will have your 30 minute practice session every single day and achieve great things. So I'll also leave a link in the description for that one as well. Now, I wanna thank you guys for being part of this channel. If there is stuff that you guys wanna see in 2021, I am now putting down some, together my plan. As we speak, I'm planning out the year's worth of videos, right? Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to change. I'm not going to change strategics or strategies or anything like that, but I am planning what I'm going to do this year. And I'm going to give you guys a bit more of an insight into uh, my day-to-day -day living as a trumpet player and how I practice and how I, how I put things together and how I prepare for things as well. So if there's something that you want to see, please leave a comment below. I would lo love to hear it so that I can tailor this content and the channel towards what you guys need so I can help you the most. As always, check out my free guide. And if you want to take the next step further, check out my membership as well. And as always, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and happy practicing.